All right, we back. Mercy Sports Talk. We in the building. And the Lions figured they need pass rush help, especially since Julian O'Cora ain't cutting it for them. A third round pick who ain't playing. Um, they bring in former Cleveland Brown, former Indianapolis Colt, and most importantly, former New England Patriot Jabal Shear. He is suspected or has already walked out at Allen Park for the team. And we've been seeing this every year since Quinn Trisha been here and been together. Is that the Lions need pass rush help? Rush help. And they always wait till it's too late to get it. Try to get some old, hold on. Ooh, back crack. Try to get this old veteran like Mike uh, Daniels last year and Ricky Francois and all these different guys they tried to bring in when it's way too late. And we've been seeing they had a defensive line issue ever since Matt Patricia arrived. But let's talk about your boss Shear. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love, support. Want to make a donation to the channel. Just share that video for your boy, right? And also... Want to help out? Check my other channel, Wild Goodfellow Sports TV, right here on YouTube for more music, sports, and news entertainment. And um, another Patriot, old pass rusher. If he was some good, somebody else would have signed him, in my opinion. He's beyond his best, 31 years old. Can he, you know, help us? No, but today beyond Clowney could have helped us, I'm guessing. You know, and it's with some other pass rushers like Everson Griffin who could have helped us out. And you guys didn't want to do that. So either the Lions are being cheap because Sheila wanted to be cheap. Or they only want to go at the former New England Patriots. You know, you drafted Julian O'Core. What's the worst that he can do out there? Let him go play. If he that bad out there, it can't be no worse. Y'all giving up like five yards a pop, if not more. It can't be no worse. The difference between Flowers and, and, and whoever else you got starting the outside, Flowers is, is as good as he going to get. Julian O'Core should continue to get better. That's the same thing about putting Jeff O'Court out there. He should continue to get better. Through game and game out, it may not always show it, but the game will start to slow down. That's what happened for Armani or Rockby last year. You know, he didn't play a lot, but as he sat and took those mental reps down at the end of the year, he started to play very, very well. All right? And that happened to Darius Slay. He jumped into a Lions system. They had to force him into play. He wasn't ready. But eventually, he got better and better. He became a, a, a Pro Bowl caliber year in and year out cornerback. So why not just let Julian O'Cora play? And get better and better and better. You took Jason Huntley, and it's a defensive lineman from Utah, Utah State, that Dallas took. You could have took him. You took Will Harris and traded up for him. You could have took Max Crosby. He balling for the, for the Raiders. The, the Lions do not put a premium with Quinn Trisha here on, on pass rush and defensive linemen and linebackers. That was different when Jim, Jim Schwartz was here. They put a premium on defensive linemen, and they didn't care about the defensive backfield. So when can we get somebody that got balance, that cares about the front end and the back end working together? We got to find somebody to get balanced. But this, this is a desperation move. Fire him. Fire him. We had enough old former pay. What is Danny Shelton doing? What Trey Flowers doing? Justin Coleman injured. Jamie Collins headbutting referees. Obviously, the system is broke. Without, without the master key, it don't work. The master key is Bill Belichick. Jabal Sheard is not going to say today. You just figured out. You've been watching Julian Okura for several weeks in camp. You didn't have him on Zoom call for months. You just not realizing when the season starts, he ain't ready? You could have been got clowning. You could have been trying to get Everson Griffin. You could have been trying to get other help. You didn't. This is another reason they should be fired. You traded away all of our talent defensively, or you got rid of them. Glover Quinn, Darius Slay, Quadre Diggs. Got rid of them. And you haven't drafted one superstar. Maybe Kenny Galladay is right knocking on the edge, but there's not one superstar on this team. Not one. It's not a Calvin on here. It's not a Barry. It's not an Indominus Sue on this roster. And you bring in Jabal Shear. Just throw the whole season away. Why was the point of taking Julian O'Cora in the third round then if he wasn't going to be ready? Like I said, I'm not concerned about Jabal Shear coming in. Uh, Matt Patricia, I don't want to talk about him. You know, he was a good player for me. He's not going to save the season for the Lions. Lions lose Sunday and they lose to the Saints um, the following week, going into the bye week. If, if Sheila really wants to impress me, she'll fire both of them. She'll fire both of them. But hey, let me know what you guys think about them bringing in Jabal Shear. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got business question, cry, response, your video request. Keep sharing the video. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash app CJ Good three one three. PayPal link in the description. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist for more videos like this. Let me know what you think about them bringing uh, Andrew Ball, Sheer, former Patriot. What my man's doing on the last dance. 
One time for the one time we gone.